Taiwan tourism has taken a hard hit in the COVID pandemic. At a recent forum in Taipei, industry members shared their pandemic experiences and how they have to change and transform in order to survive. Experts also shared their goals for the development of post-pandemic tourism. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. Amid the pandemic, Taiwan's tourism sector has had to shift gears to survive. One type of hotel transformed itself from an international luxury hotel for business travelers to a local urban resort. It offered simulations of overseas travel to destinations such as Tokyo. It also launched a five-star gourmet delivery service. The government subsidies supported our creation process and our transformation as we went from an urban business hotel to an urban resort. We went from implementing eight projects a year to 80 projects in 2020. We hired a lot of tour guides in the travel industry to help us rediscover Taiwan. After so many courses, training, digital upgrades and cross-departmental training, we entered the next stage of our transformation. We were an international business hotel without any guests. What was the next step for us? I thought about another industry that was also very miserable, the cruise industry. We conceived of the cruise ship as a hotel with activities. We took all the services, activities and experiences offered by cruise ships and transplanted them to Regent Taipei. Taiwan's travel agencies have also had to adjust to the pandemic. Lion Travel committed itself to domestic travel tourism. In collaboration with Taiwan Railways, it began offering experiences on the Future Express sightseeing train, which boasted freshly brewed coffee, customized lunch boxes, and even a butler. Lion Travel says rail tours will continue to be a big player in the tourism sector after borders reopen for international tourism. It says it was able to adapt to the pandemic due to its pool of internationalized talent. In April 2020, we committed to deepening our roots in Taiwan. The key to that effort was bringing back our talent stationed around the world and sending them to Ilan, Hualien, Taidong, Southern Taiwan, Jinmen, Penghu and Matsu. The supervisors we stationed overseas all have language skills and the ability to be deployed abroad. Former Transport Minister Lin Jialong, who's been appointed an ambassador at large for Taiwan, says he's visited many places in the country over the past two years. He said that through his travels, he was able to see the potential of domestic tourism. What direction is tourism headed in the post-pandemic era? <laughs> We need to push smart tourism and digital transformation. In the past, travel agencies handled everything, but now travelers plan their own trips. They do their own customization. I think that the tourism sector needs to integrate everything, food, accommodation, travel, shopping, all of it. The final product needs to be a world-class experience. There's more out there besides Ali Shen and Sun Moon Lake and attractions like that. The tourism experience is not just about looking at scenery. Officials say Taiwan is elevating its tourism offerings. They say that when borders reopen, Taiwan will be ready to welcome international tourists with open arms. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang in Luo Tong in Taipei.